The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Speaking of fancy flying, I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Kyo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the holonet. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Twins? No, wait! Delon Vu. Yeah, that's it! Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Commander's waiting. Where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. We'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this, but General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire, too, at Skystrike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. As you may have overheard, Talus... A Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Linden? Vanguard can handle it, can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. 
Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know, a wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. So, we're headed to Yavin. An exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong, but they can be beaten. If you're good and lucky, let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. Commander wants you on an X-Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. You got it. Ah, you're looking for a custom job.
systems. Scan for a breach point so we can send in a boarding team. You're up five. Breaching a star destroyer, just like the old days. Look out, Vanguard! We got a gunny story incoming! I hasn't heard it. Sure. <laughs> just tell me when I can turn my comms back on. If your comms are off, how can we tell you to... Oh, forget it.
We can bring the boarding team in safely. Follow me to the rendezvous. I'll give them cover. Vanguard, let's go. Star Destroyer? Copy, Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard him, Vanguard. Guide those U-Wings into position. Stay sharp. What about the Star Destroyer's crew? If our boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. The crew won't be a problem with no computer access and all the blast doors locked.
finish off the rest. Brandy is sealed! Cutting through the blast doors! <laughs> mission. Even better than beating my time on the Death March circuit. We got to steal a Star Destroyer and help our friends doing it. And see Yavin! We still have allies on the fourth moon, but I've never been there. There was an energy at Yavin like I've never felt anywhere else. It was chaotic and serene all at once. The Empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches. But I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we fight for, the good. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander Javes earlier. Knowing Frisk, the Commander might appreciate some backup. Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see him try and take it. You know, back home, after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the commander has something similar in mind for the Star Destroyer, right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron would still be fapping around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. <sighs> you hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, 
All I can tell you is the basics. Leonard, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of a hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-Wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. This is my fault. I underestimated the repairs. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Ardo. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosni and Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nanth Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Clone Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a Skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the Flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before, but they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But anyway, we should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. We were just talking about what happened to the Victorum, and Keo had one of those, uh, what do you call them? It's just a hunch frisk, that's all. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him, it's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could, but sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. Now, let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Karelian lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going.
wings go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial Starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid-fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. <laughs> 